Western Guide Dogs has been around for over 30 years. Um, we are the only guide dog school in the southeastern United States. Um, we're one of 10 accredited guide dog schools throughout the United States. Um, and we provide wonderful guide dogs for people with visual impairments. Um, we also provide service dogs to veterans that are living with post-traumatic stress. Um, and we even match up companion dogs with children who have um, visual impairments so they can get used to dealing with a dog before they have to come here to get a guide dog. And where do you get your guide dogs? We breed them all here on campus. So we breed Labradors, Golden Retrievers, and a mix of the two that we call a Goldador. Um, and we breed for intelligence, trainability, and um, health. We obviously want very, very healthy dogs to go out there to the people that are going to need them, need their services for a while. And if somebody was interested in volunteering, what steps should they take? Um, we would love to have volunteers. Um, it's our volunteers, our core volunteers, are the ones that allow us to do everything that we do um, here on campus and outside of campus as well. Um, the great place to start would be guidedogs.org, which is our website. Um, there's a number of different opportunities that you can look up there and applications to fill out and that sort of thing. Um, we have a couple of really neat things that you could be for us. A puppy raiser would be one of them. So you would take a um, guide dog puppy when it's nine to 10 weeks old, bring it into your home, love Love it, care for it, um, expose it to every aspect of life, and then unfortunately you'll have to hand it back to us once it's a really good, well-behaved dog, um, but that's going to start it off on its training so that it can become a confident guide dog for somebody later in life. Um, you could also be a breeder host for us. So you would house one of, our, um, one of our dogs from our breeding colony in your home, love it just like a regular dog, um, bring it back to campus when its services are needed or when there, it's time for puppies to be born, um, and then you get to take that dog back home again. And once it's out of its um, breeding life, then you can adopt it as your own dog. So you end up with a really wonderful dog in the end. Um, it's not quite as heart-wrenching as turning in a puppy, um, but the, you know, the flip side of that is when you turn in a puppy, you can just pick up another puppy on your way out to start the whole process over again. on donations. Um, it costs about $60,000 to put together and to um, take care of a guide dog team throughout its life. Um, and our people, our recipients, pay nothing for our services, for the training and for the dog, um, and the lifetime follow-up. Um, we are all based on the generosity of the community. And people can also come in and be puppy huggers to help with socialization, can't they? That's absolutely true. We're the only guide dog school that in invites the general public to come in and help us socialize our puppies in what we call puppy hugging sessions. So five days a week, every day except for Sunday or Thursday, you can go online to guidedogs.org forward slash puppy hugging, make a reservation um, either at 9 o'clock or 10 o'clock and come and sit on the floor and play with some puppies and it gets them used to all the different sights and smells and sounds. got to keep in mind that these are six to nine week old puppies so they tend to be a little jumpy, a little excited. And the dogs get a lot of enjoyment out of it as well. It's wonderful for the dogs. It, um, it allows them to be exposed to a bunch of different people and it also gives them some exercise. I mean they're running around playing with their siblings while you're petting them. Um, so it's a really great, it's great all around.